at this bad boy. This yes. coming from the goal is never completed Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> completed Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue, okay? Yeah, well, yeah, so you're te technically... Your Furthermore, argument's I don't crack jokes about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Te you did. Technically, your argument's invalid at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this coming from the guy who won't play friggin' Pokemon Go, even though it's out in Canada now. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing it right now. Huh, Evan, peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. All right, we're, in, all right, we're setting the part right here. Cool. You're, Alpha, so you haven't played Fire Emblem Awakening. Peer pressure, peer Some pressure. of us have... Jobs. Meanwhile, oh, and you'll still play Pokemon Go and Undertale. On my way to work, not Undertale. Though. Meanwhile, in the residence of Gamer of Glory, we have returned with Okami. Mm. <laughs> Let's get out of here. What? Out of Okami? All right, we're hunting the last guy. We're, we're, go we're gonna okay, quit this it. to go play Undertale <laughs> on our way to work. <laughs> See you next time, Haley and Josh. Say bye. Ah, <laughs> interloper. Come on, where's? The okay, there we are. Ah, I'm calming down right now. <laughs> Alright, this is Game of Glory. I have returned with intermission. Say hi. The intermission can't talk. <laughs> the intermission says bye. <laughs> uh, Haley, Evan, say hi. Hi. Hello. So, you, um, there was a pre-conversation if you missed it. <laughs> um, last time we talked about Pokemon Blue, and several hot dogs later, we are back with more plot convenient things. No, we talked about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue before we started recording this. Yeah, anyway, new enemies right here. We have... That is a cool enemy design. This is known as the Flying Fish. Fun fact. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> wow. That was, that's the official name of it, so we're going to call it that. Um, flying Fishes are actually... And always you thought fun. Mewtwo was uncreative of a name. Well, technically it's its genetic... Technically it's its genetic name that Team genetic Rocket created. Name, like, how... Who else names their pet after its genetic disorders? <laughs> I've well, I've seen people call their dogs a dog. No, no, that's one thing. But like, if if my parents had named me thalassemia, I would have a problem with it. <laughs> 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 okay, so anyway, um, I should have mentioned this before, but um, Kamiki Village, you're actually supposed to visit landmarks. So yeah, this is one of them. Meet Tama. Hi, Tama. <laughs> Tama like the cat? No, Tama like the pyrotechnist. Tam Tamagotchi? The... No. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Tama is a reference which means explosion. Or, I don't know, I think it means either explosion or firecracker. I'm gonna Google it now. I'm curious. Hang on. Uh, I'm not too sure. Because, well, I'm not a proficient... I'm not proficient in Japanese. But this is one of the ways you can learn another... Another, I guess, another brush technique. You see that, you saw that mural, right? Yep. Of, of, a drawing of a bomb, right? Yep. So he performs, he performs like an action, and then you have to draw it in. It's just like the, it's just like freaking, uh, it's just like freaking Susano, except you're not learning anything. You're just helping a poor guy slice things with a wooden stick. Josh, the, there are a bunch of translations for Tama. What's a, what, 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 what is it? We've got ball, bullet, shell, shot, soul, spear, and spirit. I think... So he's like the spirit of balls. Explosive <laughs> balls. So draw the bomb right here. You mean the explosive balls? Yeah. And it creates this thing. He should be questioning it right now, but... <laughs> anyway, th I believe this is the first occurrence of uh, fireworks, actually. That should be physically impossible to create those shapes. Have you ever actually seen those uh, fireworks that create those hearts? I don't. I don't remember. I don't think. I don't think that's supposed to be possible. Mm -hmm. Anyway, by doing that, you get a new power. Constellation, Ami. Did 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 he just like explode a constellation into existence? It's called. Pa it's called fiery passion. Look it up. Okay, let's do that. I feel like if I Google fiery passion, I'm gonna get some different kinds of explosive balls that I'm not looking for. Well, technically, it's this. Technically, this guy actually mentions it. So. What the fiery passion of exploding yeah. balls? Or. Yeah. Anyway, meet this guy. Uh, oh, the... sweet bacon. <laughs> and it, oh, he technically starts with a B, and an A. Bacon gummy. <laughs> bacon gummy. <laughs> anyway, meet uh, Baku gummy means it god of explosions, because Baku means bomb. Uh, but Bacon Gami sounds much more better, actually. <laughs> anyway, Bacon Gami, god of... god of clogging arteries. 
gives you the cherry bomb or cherry bacon or whatever. I don't know what Ew, it is. Ew, cherry bacon. But I like how, but I like how this guy gives you the power. Those hogs run after him. It explodes and it just rolls over here. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, what are you looking up? Fiery passion, like I said I would. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh dear. If only, if um, only... I'm it, getting d definitions for fiery and passion. No, but. you googled fiery passion definition, Evan. That's for people who are about semantics. We just gotta google the phrase fiery passion. Anyway, uh, cherry bomb, uh, you can <coughs> break open those cracks. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> we're totally not ripping off Zelda. Nope. No, we're totally not. Because I can and only right behind him, you see I am you see Link with a stern look of his master sword. <laughs> well, technically we were breaking pots first, and then you see Link just doing some heavy breathing. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Other than that, you can get like different things. Um, funny thing about it is that Cherry Bomb will break like walls, but no walls actually hold. Well, actually, yes, they do. Never mind. Never mind. I was about to say that no walls actually hold stray beads, but I just remembered the the first dungeon we're actually gonna go actually has has a stray bead. In the wall. Yeah. So anyway, I killed all five of the I killed all five of the the demons in the wanted list. And yeah. That's about it. I believe after we're I believe after I visit the Master Maester Mika guy, I just get I just go all the way to Kamiki. Because you have to go there. You have to revive Sakia. Technically, we made a promise. It's not a blood oath, but sure. <laughs> but then again, what's stopping us from going to the next area? Uh, yeah. Why didn't I cut this out? <laughs> we haven't even gotten any more tangents left. <laughs> uh. So... It's an exercise in Zen-esque patience. Okay, so I mean, well, about games that are heavily influenced with, by Japanese culture, and it's still no news about when we're getting the Hoshiden and Norian DLC festivals for Fire Emblem Fates. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I wish I can get it. Anyway, Gold Dust. Huh, that was a slow amount of time. <laughs> um, gold. Wait, it says power made from golden earth, so it's not gold dust. It's just gold-colored dirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's grinded into dust. It's um, gold-colored dirt. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> so anyway, uh, we have finished... Uh, technically, we finished what we wanted to clear. You technically wanted to go through that way, but you don't have the power to do so. And you technically have to go into the moon cave, but I don't have... I don't really want to go there because there's not really anything to do. Um, other than that, I'm going to go back to Kamiki Village because I have shit to do. And a hot babe's waiting for me after I get this treasure chest. And... Is she of your species? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> then, then, are you okay, dude? Yeah. Am I terminally funny, Evan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that cough means yes. Time to draw squigglies. Adult coloring book. <laughs> or, like, weird yeah. cursive. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep squiggling. Just keep squiggling. Did you guys watch Finding Dory yet? No, no. I didn't. I'm not, not a movie person, you know that. I was gonna go yeah. with a friend of mine, but never got around to it. Yeah, neither have I. It feels like we've gotten closer there for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, just uncover this uncover this hole and you can get this treasure chest. I thought you were gonna fall to the center of the earth. <laughs> that, well, dude, you're supposed to make a bigger hole than that. Okay, so we're about done here. Because I believe I'm going to travel to Kamiki Village. What's on the opposite side of uh, the uh, of the planet from Japan? Uh, America. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> then we can go there and get us some burgers real quick. <laughs> so you just use, like, a dr giant drill to just drill down the earth? I feel like that would be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so basically I finished what I came here to do. Now it's time to head back. Now it's time to backtrack. Evan's favorite word, backtracking. Yeah. Back him a track him a. <laughs> Evan mad. Well, we're not doing the backtrack, we're doing the, uh, the, yeah. the, the, what are we doing? Don't worry, the backtracking will be kept to a minimum. The backy walkie walkie, that's what we're doing. The backy walkie walkie? Yeah. 
Um, okay. <laughs> Why does that sound like some sort of lame 80s dance? It does, well... Yeah, because <laughs> people got high that time. Okay, so anyway, there's things to do in Kamiki Village because when we resurrected uh, one of the guardian saplings in this place, uh, Sakia grew leaves, and the leaves that brought were, were are not falling here. I do like this hip little theme right here. I wouldn't characterize it as hip, but it's fun. Yeah. Okay, so in. Anyway, in Oka right now we have a bit of a quest, because there's actually a guy... Uh, remember the Buddhist guy? The pothead? Uh-huh. Yeah. He tells you that he tells you how many uh, trees are left unbloomed. Basically, you have to bloom all the trees. Okay. Yeah. That's basically... For plot purpose or side quest plot purpose? Plot purposes. Because we are resurrecting our... We are resurrecting our hot anime babe, who is resi residing inside of the... <laughs> Tree. The, the, the peach one, yeah. Yeah, the peach one. So he gives. So you saw the number, right? Oh god, we're saving it's, Princess Peach yet again. Thirteen princess, more to go. <laughs> well, Princess Peach Blossom. Princess Peach emoji. <laughs> so yeah, you're basically gonna see me res all the trees. Res. Res. The trees were resin. I I well I was gonna go for resurrected, but sure. I'll resurrect my withered tree for your peach. <laughs> well, I'd rather have a sake girl rather than a peach girl. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, I'm, t I'm talking to her because this is... This is plot important because... Once all the trees get blossomed... Uh, they will... Basically reignite someone's passion. Uh, you will see later because it's actually pretty funny. But first, time to rest trees. I feel bored already! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, <clears throat> you know this should be raising some questions around the po local populace. But it's not. Everybody's just so happy to see the trees black back in bloom. Yeah. My voice hurts. I need some drink. <laughs> I, I need, need some, some drink. drink. Yeah, I need. My some... voice doesn't hurt, but I'll have some drink anyway. Yeah, let me try some of your. What kind of beer is it anyway? Mm. Something something wheat beer. I thought you didn't drink. I. Oh, right, I can't drink. I'm driving. <laughs> You're driving while we're doing this? No, I have to drive. Yeah, first we're playing Undertale on the way to work. Now we're playing Driver San Francisco. My little blossom. Ugh. Little. Ha! 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 So, yeah, they're just hinting at some more of a... Burst out in leaves. Yeah. Yeah, they're just hinting at stuff now. Basically, what you have to do, bloom all the trees and go see Mr. Orange. He's gonna... Uh, uh, Kushi just said that... <laughs> Kuchi. Kuchi. <laughs> Kuchi Kuchi. <laughs> uh, Kushi, the sake girl, basically told you that told us that uh, Mr. Orange used to do a dance that would make all the trees blossom. But he hasn't done that in a very long time. So, yeah. I should mention that there is a bit of a... There's a bit of a bug. When you circle all, when you circle multiple trees, they all blossom at the same time, which is pretty cool. That doesn't sound like a bug. That sounds like it saves you some time. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. Anyway, Mr. Orange, he's sitting right here, and you saw the jingle. Well, you heard the jingle. I think you were gonna slash him. Um. You. Yeah. I. I think I showed this already, but you can circle other people, and they'll pet you. Aww. But not this time. At last, he answered to all my prayers. All the village's trees have sprung back to life. How? I do not question the gods, even though they're really, even though I haven't felt the gods in a long time. So he's gonna perform the, the. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shuffle. <laughs> yeah, it's a shuffle. It's basically a drink. It's basically a dance. I'm curious now to see. But but first, he brings out a sake. I love. By the way, he's a not valor. He's not technically holding it. <laughs> but first, I must break my vow of temperance. Gingerly sip. I, I I love I love this actually. He this is more than a this is more than a freaking sip. <laughs> he chugs the whole damn bottle. <laughs> yeah. he, he throws the damn thing, and this happens. Yeah. The orange. Just... Yeah. <laughs> you can't even see his eyes. 
Yeah, well, it's covered. Well, technically, he has very, very long eyebrows. Yeah. And so here comes another quick time event. I don't know if you can if you heard it, but you heard like uh, record scratching, and his orange just shrunk back. This is better be good. <laughs> That's right, be enthralled, Haley. So he's old. We have <laughs> so <laughs> so he's old. We have to help him. <laughs> Wata. That's right. Feel the flowers. God, Can't you feel is everyone here like Susano? Can you feel the flowers? <laughs> yeah, Susano is only a marginally worse version of everybody else here. He might as well be just be humping the damn tree. <laughs> I feel like that would not achieve the same thing, but okay. <laughs> it would you know what? It I would, would imagine it, it would make all the trees wilt again. <laughs> it just topples over. <laughs> yeah. The amazing thing about it is that the music actually restarts every single damn time you take so long to take so long to bloom the blossom. And now it's finally resurrected. And now he's got to sleep off the sake. <laughs> uh, you said sip, not chug. So yeah, the sock. So yeah, the pedals are okay? back. Yeah. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we resurrect. We resurrected our little sprightling right here. Did I just call him a little sprightling? I said little sprout. <laughs> You're alive, and you look uh, very nice. There's a reason why we have a far shot of her. Blah blah blah. <laughs> so yeah, this is what she really looks like, and it's like she's feeling herself. Ooh. So this is gonna be a long, <laughs> long let's play. Oh yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you actually slap your head? Yes. <laughs> uh huh. We freaking Japan. <laughs> we love you too. You can tell from the you can tell from the leaves they're trying to. Accentuate the breast joke. That's right. Praise. That's right, baby. Show me those praise. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. We heard you the first time. We should probably seek medical. We could. We should probably help him seek medical attention. <laughs> we should. I thought you were gonna say we should probably help him seek men at night. I no. thought you were gonna How's say Antonio we should probably Montreal? help him seek men and women in his area. Eighteen plus today. <laughs> How's Antonio? Eighteen yeah, plus. Antonio Montreal is just gonna help with that. It's. <laughs> it's it's ages sixty five and up, Hilly. <laughs> Don't be ageist. <laughs> ageist. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we have saved the. We have saved the tree, and now the screen darkened. You know, if this light, if there wasn't a con, if there wasn't a constellation, constellation up there, that would have been a very bad omen. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we have another of the flora gods right here. Oh, uh, nice thing. Yeah, if you a little more stars. Yeah, a little more How stars. How many of these are there? There are two. I, no, I, I mean constellations. Um, there are thirteen brush gods, so tech, and technically we have a trifecta of these guys, so it's technically fourteen. Also, fourth wall joke. Ow. Uh huh. Literally the fourth wall. Yeah. It's it's like a meta fourth wall joke. It's meta squared. So yeah, he's playing a he's playing a he's playing a special kind of flute. Origin that is good and mother to us all, yada yada yada. Hasagami right here. Oh, excuse me. Hasagami is. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know what it translates to, but. Hasagami will give you the power, the power to walk on water. Well, not walk on water, create platforms on water. Okay. Yeah. Because certainly that. Because certainly it feels nice. To like. To, to spawn little floating mats. Yeah. Like a frog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get li we get lily pad. That is the power that well water lily, sorry. 
Isun, seriously? Why do you have to interrupt me at this time? You know that we start to become crazy the, men the moment we start talking to the characters like the actual characters in the mm. game. I think so that's... we just left the old man up there? Yeah. Yeah. We don't care. Even though even though his heart desperately needs to seek medical attention, we don't care. And his liver. Yeah. His poor liver. <laughs> so here's how it works. You draw a circle in the water. And voila. That was easy. A bit of, dropped out of the sky. Yeah. A bit of a bit of a fun fact. You can draw the lily pad anywhere on the water. What smirk off? The... Wipe that smirk off your face. What smirk? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a dog smirk. Um, by the way, so but fun fact about that introductory sequence of the li water lily. You can draw the water lily anywhere in that shot, but it'll always be set to that location where you are. Mhm. Mm so yeah, it'll just be like. Snap, it'll just be the water lily right here, and then snap, it's all the way there. I haven't performed it because I just re I realized that a week later. Blah, blah, blah. I look into the moon. Uh, it's the middle of day. <laughs> I look into the moon. Shut up, I'm God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, basically, we have unlocked lily pad, basically. Now we can cross rivers and streams because now we can't drown. Anyway, Sun Fragment. Give us the booty. Swiggity swooty, we got the booty. Swiggity swiggity swack, I'm coming for that rack. <laughs> Too late there, bud. Come on. There we go. Ah. Yeah, the collision detection in this game can be a little wonky at times. Because you saw me slide down there even though I reached yeah. on the island. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it is slanted. Yeah, well... Yeah, exactly. That was just gravity. <laughs> Damn gravity? Why do they don't... Why, why do they not work against gods? I'm a freaking god. I don't care. I feel like this game would be a little more complicated if you would have float out into space. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's... Uh, instead of the slot Instead Houston, of the... Houston, we have a problem. Okami meets portal. <laughs> instead of the slide going down, it just shoots you right up like a rocket. Yeah. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Imagine this game combined with, like, Surgeon Simulator, you know, the zero gravity stages. Oh, so, yeah. like, you have to Surgeon Simulator style pick up the paintbrush and draw on zero gravity. I wonder if it's actually going to come out in the, the virtual reality. If someone would just hit me. That's kinky. So, yeah, these, I, I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but these two are relevant to a side quest. Uh, basically, these two will travel around and you have to constantly prove that gods do exist. So we have to hit, the first time we have to hit her. And yeah, she'll reappear. Violence is the answer. Yeah, friendship is violence as always. So anyway, uh, Sakuya will give you an item every time. Oh, when you come back here, every time you resurrect the guardian sapling. We kind of did in Hana Valley, so we have to. So we get her bountiful fruit as always. <laughs> get it? <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Oh come on, Evan, you need a girlfriend. <laughs> Do you constantly vouch to get one for him? Or boyfriend, whatever. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Come on, dude. Okay. Anyway, we got bull horns. Because, cause, fuck yeah, bulls. And that's about it. Um, yeah. Erupt ending as always, but hey. Uh, we're gonna travel to plot hey, later I on. think the beginning was erupt. Yeah, the... <laughs> the be <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna add this pre-conversation into recording. We're not good at transitions. Hmm. Yeah, 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 that's kind of true. All right, we're all right. We're gonna end this recording off because we're actually really tired and my voice kind of is starting to crack a little. Um. So anyway, yeah, this is Gamer of Glory. I'm God, and we will see you guys then. So uh, Evan, Haley, say bye. God has a weird sense of humor. All right. <laughs> Shut oh up. Oh my gosh. Jeez, Evan. Bye.